well this is what I'm doing today it's another uh, paid parking so you have to pay 15 bucks and that's the start of the trail it's called Grotto Grotto Creek Grotto Creek Trail so I'm about an hour sorry about an hour so that's my dot over here next to the lake there's a, there's a lake behind these trees and so that's Calgary where's Calgary over here so that's my home so I took uh, 201 west to 1 and then uh, switched to 1a and so this place see like this is the lake now 1a is right there and so now I have my water I uh, put on my hiking boots I have my quick dry pants just in case and I'm I'm wearing this <laughs> shirt like a dress shirt because I couldn't find any sweaters I don't know, I think they're all dirty and it's still a bit chilly it's like plus 14 outside and not that many people today but I'm pretty sure it's gonna fill up like we're right next to mountains and you can see mountains in there so so now I'm gonna put the GoPro on my head grab the hiking uh, poles and head that way uh, this is pretty steep it's like I think 430 uh, meters of elevation but it's only three and a half clicks three and a half kilometers one way so a total is seven clicks so it should be good workout uh, today is Saturday and this is pretty much my first my first uh, road trip with the compass I uh, I was ready to leave in the morning and then I clicked you know show me tire pressure and tire pressure was like 33 32 which is okay but it's like bare minimum and so I stopped at the gas station pumped some air made it like 37 36 on all tires so now we should be good all right let me grab the stuff and have some extra t-shirts but mostly have water I'm gonna put my phone in there and we can head out up to the mountain yeah so basically there's a little grotto canyon so that's how it goes we're here next to this grotto mountain pond and then we just go like this two kilometers three of rocks I read reviews about this before I chose this trail I was looking for something scenic you know with scenic views and this was getting good reviews but many people complained about this about these rocks To the mountains we go yeah thanks to everybody who participated in that little review uh, not review what do you call it to uh, poll where I asked shall I go hiking or shall I go shooting and most people say hiking but the last time I checked, it was uh, last night. Hi. Hello. So that guy is lucky. So I just did the entire trail and he seems in good spirits.
or and also people were saying part of this trail goes near that power plant or whatever it is I see in the distance and people were saying it's very loud haven't read the manual yet for the Jeep it's packed with electronics There's so many options but today I use the adaptive cruise control on highway 1 works very well just the car slows down and there's another vehicle in the front and you can adjust the distance that the system maintains it's pretty cool the radio works great uh, speakers sound pretty good so I was listening to channel one uh, hits popular hits on uh, Sirius radio it's a power plant I didn't take a spare battery with me forgot to charge it so I only have one battery but it should be okay for three and a half kilometers and I brought along uh, bug spray and bear spray but People online said this is a pretty popular trail so there should be people here because I really don't like I don't like trails where you know you're all alone wait a second did I go in the wrong yeah this one okay so that's what what's cool is that they have these signs everywhere because I saw that this that path I was on was going towards the plant even though this is parallel but still you know I think it's better to follow the signs and we're going down interesting but then it's gonna be over 400 meters of elevation and so here as you can see you really need the Oh man, I was there. <laughs> I was on this. So yeah, here you need really uh, sturdy shoes. Okay? Because of all these rocks. And some of them are pretty sharp. You yeah, see? It's pretty loud that... Uh, Chief, what is this? In the mid 1960s, the work site to the north of the trail you are on was used to stockpile excess blast rock from Highway 1 reconstruction. And that's Highway 1A, I mean, Highway 1A reconstruction. Grotto Creek Canyon, here we come. Well, I just past the plant and look at this it's just gravel we're guessing here the ground gets soft after rain so they, they dumped a bunch of small rocks in here okay so this is interesting which way do I go Oh, this way okay the arrow points this way oh wow right into the forest but actually it's cool because I've been on a couple of trails where 
like that uh, Nose Hill Park in Calgary. There's a bunch of trails there, but there's hardly any trees. So in the summer, you know, it can get very hot. Yeah, now I'm definitely climbing. Let the fun begin. And today might not be the best day for this. Actually, difficult hike because yesterday I got my car. So naturally, according to the Russian custom, you have to обмыть машину. Celebrate the new car with some liquor. So I had some wine, I had some beer and ate a ton of roasted peanuts. And then I scaled scaled this morning. I was surprised to see my weight is still 193. A bit up from 190 where I was a couple of weeks ago. But at least less than 198 I was two months ago. And I keep running uh, three times a week and uh, doing that couch to 5k program. So now I'm on week three and now I'm at uh, one and a half minute run, then one and a half minute walk and then three minute run, three minute walk and then repeat. Uh, so twice. Well, this is really scenic. Actually, yeah, so far I only saw that one young kid. But as, as I was pulling in and parking, I saw two young women, women heading this way. Wow, look at that. Actually, you know what? It's already, I already feel hot. It was chilly at the bottom, but now after this climb, I have a t-shirt underneath. By the way, now the, the only downside to switching to the Jeep is that now I have to order new t-shirts. <laughs> like this one I'm currently wearing. I get it in, uh, in Ohio. What is that uh, automotive parts store? I forget. What is a big, big, uh, store there. I think I went there to get some to get uh, something for my car when I had a Mustang I think. I was doing some mods and uh, and they had a bunch of bunch of uh, t-shirts and I found the one I wanted that said Dodge Challenger. And I kept that t-shirt even when I switched to Charger. Didn't find, didn't find time to change the, <laughs> the t-shirt. But now I'm a total, I'm in a total different almost brand right even it's still Chrysler but now it's a Jeep and you know, when I was sitting at the dealer there I saw the parts department they had uh, some baseball hats with the Jeep insignia and I think they had some t-shirts but I'm gonna go on Amazon and see what I can find I feel really good about this little SUV I'll do a video after about a week. Like what I like, what I don't like about this Jeep Compass Trailhawk. 
and compare it to my experience while driving the Hellcat for what April, May, June, three months. Man, too many rocks. That's the problem with this trail. But views are pretty good. Whoever said this was a scenic hike did not lie. Okay. So you can go this way, but Grotto. So this way is high water route. And I'm guessing Grotto Creek. You have to go this way. Oh wow. Man. I'm guessing it used to be a river or something. Probably it turns into a river uh, in the spring. And I see Highway 1A in the distance. But yeah, if you stop, it feels chilly. When you're moving, it's okay. All right, so they said this way, right? That one is like completely crazy. Now, this is interesting. How do I know which way to go? tracks. I think it's this way. doesn't seem right. to get away from this canyon. Oh, here we go. 
I think. Can this be the trail? Yeah, it looks like it. Now climbing down would be interesting. Okay, which way? Left or right? No, that's just a viewing point. So, a quick note, this trail is not very well maintained. And it's a bit confusing. Man, like it's so deep down there. Okay, here, this is better. At least I, I can feel I'm getting close to the mountain. Right, that's the whole point. This little operation. Because the end should be at this grotto canyon. So it cannot be this way. It has to be this way. Just in, in case I should probably stop and get a sip of water and check my cell phone.
Yeah, I take back what I said about good signage. <laughs> because I haven't seen a sign for the trail in a while now. So I'm just following my intuition. Well, I lost the trail because it was so overgrown and not marked at all after I started climbing. So I ended up here. I was looking for, you know, there's an opening, right? But it keeps getting worse and worse. And so pretty much it's all brush after those trees here. So that's north. So hopefully I still have GPS on here. It shows that I'm on Highway 1, which is incorrect. Okay, so this is the trail. See, like, I'm northwest, actually. I'm probably on the right way because there should be some views just north of me. There should be this Grotto Canyon Icefall. But it's, I'm thinking the trail is either... Like, there is something there. I think it definitely goes around this area. It's either to the right or to the left. But I don't know, I think that's the, that's the end. So they have some cool waterfalls in there. Or I can go southeast. Basically, I have to go somehow that way, but maybe like this. But at least I see the trail. So that's the Grotto Trail. And that's where my, my car is parked next to this little, little lake. All right. Let's see if there's any way through there still to the top if not i'll turn around so yeah not a good trail i don't know especially those guys there i saw a husband and wife and they had a kid on their back i'm not sure how they how we're thinking of getting in here so like this looks kind of like a trail but so it's like very now it goes down it doesn't want to go up and that's it that's not a trail you see there's leaves everywhere all right screw it this mission has failed i brought my camera right i was hoping for some cool views so now it's all about survival <laughs> Like that sound from the plant is helpful because I know exactly where I have to go. I have to go this way. And usually I have a very good sense of direction. So that's way, that way is south, this way is north, west, east. So I just have to get back to that uh, see this is how I came like there's no trail here by the way lots of uh, I don't know what these are blueberries or no these are probably some bad bad uh, berries so like there's nothing there I think I came through here actually I'm super glad that I didn't put my shorts on because there's a lot of brush here you know, you can catch some of those bugs. Yeah, you see like here, it's going somewhere. Yeah, that's how I came. But it's super steep over there. See, nothing here. Unbelievable. We are one hour west of Calgary and I got lost in the woods. 
Yeah, I think I came through here. Yeah, because I was looking, shall I go this way? Shall I go this way? And I started climbing because I thought there was a trail. Maybe I can at least take one picture here. I think this would be nice from here with the river and these two trees. Except there's a railroad there and the highway. Well, probably should be okay. Yeah, basically, see, I have to, I, I have to get that way. So I'll probably go through here. But this way it's very steep because that's that uh, pit. The pit, but the plant and the parking lot is there. Okay, hold on. Let me. Unpack my camera. Let's take a couple of quick shots here. I only brought one lens. By the way, did I mention that I I found a photography gig? I was advertising on online and some lady some lady emailed me and she said we're looking for photographer yeah that the railroad just as I thought like this way you, you capture the pit Nice trees, see trees and uh, nice clouds. But that guy, the kid I met, he didn't seem too frazzled. So I'm guessing this is my first time here. Just took a, took a wrong turn somewhere. Hold on, my phone beeped. I think we have a signal in here. Uh, somebody on Instagram. Okay, where are we here? Well, I'm definitely going south. South and east. Yeah, I have to go like this. Yeah, this is an adventure for you. Oh, by the way, I, I put the um, the air tag inside my car. I remembered to move it from the Challenger. And so if I activate the Bluetooth on my phone, I can see where my car is exactly. Okay. So like this, is this a trail? I'm not sure. I think I found it. Okay, this is way better. I think I got out of the brush. Oh yeah, I remember this tree. Yeah, I'm gonna give this trail a mark of two out of five for poor signage, overgrown trail. Uh, 
and the ease with, with which you can get lost. I don't trust this pass. <laughs> Let me just double check. Thanks goodness for GPS. Am I closer to the trail? Yes. So I, I have to go this way still. That's the trail, a little, little green line. Okay, hold on. We have mosquitoes. So people are walking right here. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe that's the trail? I don't know. No, I think I'm on the right one. I think that one is different. That one is called... Uh... Yeah, but I see there's a path on there. I think that one is called the uh, High River. So this is where I was. Remember when I couldn't find, I couldn't find. Uh... So maybe that's how it's supposed to go. Like when you hit this creek, it's just supposed to go along the water. Because I don't know, I climbed there, right? <laughs> but again, because there's no signs, how are you supposed to know? But it definitely was here. So at least I'm on the right track. So I'm no, I'm no longer lost. I know exactly where my car is and where I have to go. I think I came through here somewhere. Yeah, I remember this weird little tree. Yeah, this is definitely not a trail because it's too narrow. But Dangerous. Huh. I see. Yeah, probably that's <laughs> that's the trail. But I don't want to go there. I already climbed. It was a pretty steep climb. Climb. So basically, yeah. I took a wrong turn. Unbelievable. But this, they should have put a sign somewhere here. You know? And I remember there was two signs. One said, if you go this way, that's High River Trail and Grotto Canyon is this way. So now it definitely makes sense that I wasn't supposed to go into the trees. My bad. Yeah, see that's the High River Trail. That's the bench where I stopped. This is the first sign I saw in an hour. See, Grotto Creek Canyon. But after this, there's no signs. Like, how are you supposed to know that you have to stay near the water? Crazy. 
So now I understand why I didn't see any people on the trail. <laughs> because I didn't go, I didn't take the, the, the proper route. So that was not a trail, that was just probably other poor souls that either got lost or were just adventurous enough to explore the woods on their own off the beaten track so to speak and that's why it was so overgrown because that's not the trail so yeah next time i'm definitely have to use uh see like some people even climbed here i can see next time i'm gonna use the uh, preview function like on uh, on that uh, website uh, or the app for the phone uh, called all trails that's where i found this one and it gives you a map and then you can click the button and it says preview and actually it shows you exactly how you have to go like it's like a motion like a cartoonish kind of like illustration but i did not do that i thought it was pretty simple interesting see i'm back to the plant so what i did is i actually climbed much higher you know like those people actually i saw like four people on, on the river there right the, on the creek it was much more shallow i climbed right through the trees <laughs> i don't know i thought i was going towards that mountain and it was super steep but it was okay like i didn't lose well, I was uh, short of breath a couple of times, so I just stopped, hit some water. But yeah, basically, if somebody's uh, willing to take one of these trails out, I take just a word of caution, do your homework and check the preview and know exactly where you go because it's these are woods, right? It's wilderness. Especially if, if, if you lose a GPS signal, you can be screwed when you're off the trail. So the, just a word of caution. That even though we're like one hour away from the major Alberta city, Calgary, you know, it's wilderness. Oh, I like that mountain. It looks cool. With the trees over there. Yeah, it's not a bad spot if you know where you're going, basically. Except I don't like this noisy plant. see my car through the trees straight ahead bright blue color some red car parked next to me no wait that's not me yeah mine is over there no that's me so let's see where did I go wrong so Where's the trail? Grotto. Uh huh. Yeah, you see? So here we go next to this plant, mineral processing facility. And then once you reach this Grotto Creek, you just follow the creek. <laughs> instead, instead, when I reached the creek, I crossed here and I went like this. And that's where I got stuck. So actually i was if i kept going i would probably could have kept uh, no i could caught this trail in here but you see this is actually not bad you walk alongside the creek there's a cave there's caves in here and then this one Oh, these are just roads. These are roads. Where am I? 
Uh, 541, 40, oh, 1A. That's where we are. X shore. So I came like this. Anyway, so yeah, my bad. Didn't study the map. Well, good enough. Okay, let's go maybe check out this lake in here. I need to clean my my hiking boots. Man, I feel bad, you know. That trail probably was gorgeous because it's goes through the rocks. Oh, I'll check this out. The water's pretty clear. get away from here since crocs usually right they react very quickly to uh, noise and movement it's gonna be dangerous let's get back to the car yeah I see there's a family getting ready to hit the trail so husband wife and a small kid uh, probably a son about seven years old and another one and a girl probably 10 years old and what these guys don't know they brought the father is gonna tow a little cart and inside he put a pillow and his small daughter is uh, sitting there and it has wheels right and they're looking at the trail and he probably saw right away that it would not work. I don't know, maybe they're gonna try it? Like, yeah, they're trying to... Because, yeah, if you remember, like, this spot, like, it's all rocks. Like, it wouldn't be even... Even if he pulls it okay, but the poor girl will be jumping up and down in there. And then in the river, right, you have to go alongside the creek now, as we know. Like, there's all rocks. How are you gonna tow that little cart? So that guy didn't do uh, enough research either. Anyway, look at this gorgeous screen. So I programmed uh, as my destination Applebee's restaurant. I'm gonna celebrate with some with some ribs because I did, you know, do some good climbing today. I had to change my t-shirt when I got back. My t-shirt was all was all wet. And you see this trail is not that popular because that other one I went went to, right? So there were people when I was leaving, there were people sitting at the entrance waiting for uh, spots and here there's still a bunch of spots. Uh, left. At the end of the road, turn left, highway 1A. This is 1A. Turn left. So I don't know, maybe it's good that it's not that busy. So on average, uh, driving Auto, Highway 1A for 10 kilometers. Yeah, driving this way, I was doing, you know, the speed limit, then slightly like 120, 115. So the average now uh, fuel economy is 9.5 liters per hundred kilometers. So this is like I don't know, two times better than the Hellcat. Hellcat was 10, 10, 5, I think, when I was driving to Edmonton. So on the freeway, 
at freeway speeds it was doing okay but this I was checking like uh, current uh, you know it shows me average on current right gas economy I saw seven seven liters I saw 6.5 you know on a oh wow look at the water beautiful looks like the same color as uh, Lake Louise The guy keeps texting me, you know, I, I had an appointment. I had an appointment at uh, CMP, which is the name of a GMC dealer, CMP. I was supposed to be there at 10 o'clock, but yesterday they sent me a reminder and I told them, guys, I'm not coming. I already signed a deal with, with Eastside Dodge. Why would I come, right? But evidently that guy the manager never passed the message to the sales guy Oleksiy probably Ukrainian or Russian because when I got back to the car there was a text message where he says Sergey I'm looking forward to meeting you in half an hour I'm guessing he sent it it was like 9 30 and he says quick question how do you take your coffee Man, so basically such a nice guy, you know, so I felt bad and I said, well, I'm sorry I told your boss yesterday that I already signed a deal with Eastside Dodge, so I don't need two vehicles, you know, so I'm not coming But this guy is very easy to drive the Jeep so I really enjoyed it. It was a nice little uh, road trip. Oh, there's a kind of like a truck stop here. A little gas station. So this part is interesting. I'm not going to show you Highway 1 because it's just a freeway, but this one is 1A. And I see this thing is sending me exactly how Google Maps was sending me. So in seven clicks, I take an exit and I take Highway 1X. And 1X is kind of like a collector that connects 1A and 1. And 1A is just a two-lane highway, but 1, of course, is just it's a freeway with four lanes. But this is the highway I take when I come from the uh, Calgary to go to the public land to do some target practice. I take this 1A going this way. Yeah, I don't want to drive too fast now. I really enjoy the weather and the views. And plus there were signs saying that there's... Uh, possible wild what, what were they called the sheep I think mountain sheep or something there's another trail here see parking and then you can go but yeah I like this I like this I so I started doing this on the weekends and it's really cool you know you see the nature scenery you get out of your house you get out of the house so why not? And plus, it gives you uh, you get you get some good exercise, you know. Okay, 60, 60. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 65. That's good enough. I think there's some uh, small village here. Oh, well, what's cool is actually I never saw this before. On usually you see this only on the navigation system the speed limit right in the middle of the screen white and black it's telling me that the speed limit is 60 there's a sign 100 so let's see how how it changes so 60 60 oh right away it changes to 100 so so somehow that sensor is connected with this 
because yeah this one has on the bottom right it shows you the speed limit so interesting very advanced uh, electronics on this car and then of course it has all these collision collision warnings it even has a pedestrian warning you know I think it's you activate it in the settings there are safety settings so if you get distracted and there's some some kid jumps in front of your vehicle it'll break We're driving alongside the river. I'm guessing that's the Bow River, which you cannot escape anywhere. Anywhere you go in Calgary, there's Bow River. Because it goes like this, like a snake. interesting experience even though I didn't do the correct trail but I didn't climb I'm telling you it was <laughs> it was really really steep so I think they said this one is uh, 400 what what did they say 430 meters of elevation gain but I think I did more than that because I didn't reach the, the falls, that canyon, right? I only took, what, two, two pictures. Just was lugging that camera, probably like two, three pounds with the lens. Okay, that's the turn, that big truck. After 500 meters, turn right, highway 1X. One X. Peter built. Double. Right. What is it? Some kind of a tanker, but not for fuel. But. are lazy people that don't want to hike right it's the same area so you can do hiking or you can do golfing somebody left a golf cart on the road here oh it's just a sign a sign for the golf for the golf course Kind of like advertising. Okay, 2.8 clicks to Highway 1. Now we're gonna cross a little river. Which of course is a bow river, I'm guessing. Two kilometers, keep right. Okay, Whopper. Coming up blue and white. Okay, which way? All right.
800 meters, keep right. So this way to Calgary. So this is uh, one west, uh, one east. Yeah, one is this way, one west. So like that way, if you take that that's direction, you're gonna hit Banff, Banff in 40 clicks. So we are very close to close to Ben. Keep here. right. My dash says speed limit 30. <laughs> it was a warning sign. It says save speed on the turn 30 kilometers an hour. some nice views follow over. trans canada highway one east towards calgary for 63 kilometers so the speed limit here is 110 like i'm not in a rush i'm just gonna set up 110 Okay, cruise control. And at the bottom right, it shows me what I set it up. Okay, 111. Let's make it 110. So now we set up at 110. Adaptive cruise control. So it's gonna slow down if I see a car, if it sees a vehicle ahead of me. So. That's it. I already showed you guys this, uh, I think, many times, right? So this is just Highway 1, about one hour. Oh, it says, uh, yeah, 84 clicks to the Applebee's restaurant in Northeast Calgary. And it says ETA is 11.37 a.m. And the restaurant opens at 11.30. <laughs> Because it's still early right now it's uh, what 10 10 46 so anyway thanks for watching sorry once again for the long video we're gonna do uh, something next weekend but of course I'll, I'll do a better research so I, I know the map and maybe I'll download the the actual yeah that's what you can do on all trails on your phone you can download the map of the trail and then it will tell you if you're on the right track or not ciao